while you were giving your dog a walk on his pedal-powered treadmill. You may have missed the New York Public Library's book train, MIT's 3D printed shock absorbers, and the first indoor skydiving championships. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we don't let drones do all of the work, unlike some people. The New York Public Library has come a long way since the dark ages of the 1980s. The NYPL recently upgraded the book delivery system in its Bryant Park location. It's built to shuttle research materials up from the branch's underground storage vault along 950 feet of track to a newly refurbished reading room. Each of the book train's cars can carry up to 30 pounds and zip along at 75 feet per minute. The $2.6 million delivery system will make its public debut on October 5th. Robots aren't exactly graceful when they fall down, but researchers at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab have developed a new way to minimize the damage when they do. The CSAIL team has begun 3D printing programmable, viscoelastic materials whose elasticity and stiffness can be finely tuned. The material is made from standard 3D printing plastics wrapped around non-curing liquids and encapsulated by a rubber-like skin called Tango Black Plus. Increasing the amount of liquid in the mix increases the material's elasticity. Reducing the concentration boosts its stiffness. Pretty soon, everything from rescue robots to your phone will simply bounce away rather than shatter when they hit the pavement. And finally, behold the aerial majesty of the world's first indoor skydiving championships held in Prague. Wow, that is just like the carousel death ritual from Logan's Run. <laughs> 